So it's been a few weeks now since you've been at the helm of uh, Redditch United. How have you found those few weeks so far? Uh, yeah, well, most of it's been spent on the phone. <clears throat> Obviously, first session back this morning. Um, but yeah, the vast majority of it's really um, looking to get players in. Um, it's, it's, it's never easy at any stage, certainly at, at step three, because you've got to shed loads of players out there that are, they're all looking for the ones who are going to throw them five and six hundred quid, um, and we haven't got that. So I think sometimes you have to be patient, if I remember rightly. The, you know this football club last season even first few weeks there was a, a group that came in to start the season a lot of them seemed to disappear early on um, now I'm not obviously hoping that's going to happen but you know I think speaking with the staff and the chairman we have got to be a little bit um, patient if you like to, for the right person to come along because we haven't got that kind of money where we can start offering that you know big sums to lads so we've got to you know, cut our cloth accordingly and yeah to, you know we've got spoken to Jane and White so Jane's uh, happy and, and on board so that that's sort of a ninth if you like from, from last season we had a number of trialists out there uh, that have trained with us this morning um, I, just, I think there was nine trialists um, so you know uh, some of them I think probably the supporters would have heard of some of them probably not but it's, again it's just looking at people and uh, um, just trying to see what we need what positionally you know uh, uh, and the ability levels of some of the boys so I mean other than telephone calls and all that it was nice to actually come and see some football watch some football Ryan put on a good session so it was interesting to see how fit people were or not fit as the case may be and you know it'll roll on it'll be a you know we've got five six weeks yet so yeah I'm, I'm looking forward to to getting next week into the into the meat of it all so you mentioned with Jaden that would be nine players retained <coughs> um, from last season I mean to keep Eight or nine of them is quite impressive considering the season we had. Um, you must be pretty happy with the business you've done so far. Yeah, I'm, I'm really happy. I mean, <clears throat> the first point of, uh, of of the whole exercise really was to try and keep as many as, you know, when we last spoke, as many of that squad as we could. Because uh, to be fair, there was a lot of really good players and, and just as importantly, really good people. Uh, you know, they're obviously a real tight knit bunch um, and with with all due respect there's quite a few of them probably could have moved on um, and they prefer to stay here which is probably testament to, to you know the atmosphere that was around the football club and I guess my job is to put, put petrol on it really you know what I mean if, you, if you've got a spirit like that it can cover a multitude of sins and, and to finish fourth I just had a chat with the group afterwards and said you know this football club finished fourth in this division last year which is a monumental effort um, you know and if, if you want to work hard and run hard and be committed and join in with that group then here's your opportunity to try and shine so you know basically they know what we're going to be about we're going to be hard work and and get as organized as we possibly can um, <clears throat> you know in terms so in terms of that nine is 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 fantastic business for us unfortunately the, the, there is always sometimes a flip side Aram uh, Aram Solomon's done his ACL so um, had a phone call off Oz and that wasn't today um, he had a knee issue I think during last season and he, he was still feeling pain so he wanted to go and get a scan to, to try and clear his head that there was any problem in there and <laughs> the worst news he could possibly have had was he had a complete tear of the, of the ACL so he's going to be out for some considerable time um, you know I'm not going to put a time frame on it but speaking to us obviously we're trying to speak to the PFA uh, etc to try and help with his operation um, trying to get him in ASAP uh, to give him the best chance of, of rehab and, and get him back uh, listen, God willing this season but who, who knows I'm not going to put a time frame on him but yeah a real hammer blow for, for us and a hammer blow for him you know I was gutted for the lad himself because he's a really important part of us um, but also of course he's someone that we've got to try and replace which isn't going to be easy so that's really been the only downside of getting those nine back is that we've lost lost Aram already and then finally just wanted to touch on the session that just had about probably 15 minutes ago yeah. um, you were mostly watching on and 
observing? Were you happy with, with what you saw and obviously what your staff are currently producing? Yeah, listen, the staff are good as gold. I mean, they're, 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 they're good coaches. They're full, you know, really committed people. They obviously enjoy it. There's, there's no doubt about that. Um, yeah, I'm really, I was just more intent on I knew what Ryan would discuss what we were going to do. So we, I knew what the, it would, the actual setup of the session was going to be. But I was more interested to see some of these boys that have, you know, reached out to us uh, mostly to, to could they come in some of them I knew some of them I didn't um, and just see where they're at see, see what they're about um, you know you can learn quite a bit from from just watching whether it be running and or whether it's you know ball based stuff I'd say 90% of the session was a ball based thing there's a little bit of running in the middle um, you know so yeah listen I've learned a bit you you can you can look into all these stage managed things as much as you want in the end an 11 v 11 or a player match is when you start to really learn about people um so ne next week will be we'll move the sessions on a little bit obviously towards the end of the week we'll need to get some organization together because we've got lie town here a week monday so we, we need a bit of organization that's not the be all and end all it's a lot of it's fitness based as well but we, we do want to be organized and have a shape in mind uh, uh, for the team so that that will be part of next week as well there'll be a lot of fitness in there as well but mostly pretty much always with the ball so you know i remember back in the day if you throw a ball in that they forget they're running so we're uh, yeah I mean for the first day back yeah it was all right it was okay but uh, obviously I'd like to see a lot of improvement as the weeks go on and of course some lads will be leaving us and there'll be others that come in I mean we train again on Monday evening here and there's three lads J J JJ didn't train today he'll be back Monday uh, Musa C says away till a 12 so Musa comes back into it um, we've got a couple of, uh, of lads that are, are of real quality that are coming in uh, for us to have a chat with so who are going to train as well so yeah I'm, you know, I'm looking forward to Monday already.